have the thumb, it's like the drummer is hitting the thumb. Again, I just go to the equalizer screen, I just cut the low end, not so high because the thumbs has low frequency, but I don't want to this, it's fighting versus the, the kick drum. Then I turn on the equalizer and I push the frequency that I don't like. Okay, I will give in this case a little bit of bottom end to the tom to make it stronger. And as the same way of the kick drum, I will cut like the car box sound. There is it. When I find it, I really cut it and I use a really wide equalizer so it, it comes to life like the low end and then I push a little bit the, the heat like with the highs to try to find it. And you give it like two, three decibels. Then I go just to the compression, the same as the kick drum, four, four decibels to one ratio, a fast release, and I just push four decibels as much. And I put two decibels of gain. Then I put the thumb, when I see it's like a little, not just in the center, a, a little bit just in the right to make a difference with the other one. Very close to the hi-hat. Okay, so we are going now to the floor tone really fast. We are going to do the same. Very easy. So, equalizer, we cut the low end. You can see in the graphic where is acting the frequency, the frequency of the instrument, so I try to reach there. And then the same. We're gonna put a little bit of the bass frequencies and we are gonna cut the frequency that you don't like. This microphone is capturing a lot of snare, so I, I will cut the attack of the snare there and then with the other band, I will try to find the car box sound. Now you have a lot of more definition on the sound. We are going to try to find the attack too. In this in this case, I will not use the high high equalizer to find the attack, but just to cut a little bit of the symbols that the microphone is taking so I will cut it a little bit then the compression the same really fast attack really fast release and I will gonna try to compress some decibels now the floor term is really 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 on the left side so I will push it really hard there and we'll listen with the rest of the drums it's taking shape it's taking a lot of shape and uh, now we are gonna see the 
uh, overheads. If you are using condenser microphone, you have to push the 48 voltage button, but in this case, it's already recorded, so we are not gonna use it. You can, you can link the microphones to work as one. I sometimes do that, but in this case, no, because I want to make it like uh, a little bit different, but I will do something like you will find interesting and will be useful when you are working with this. The same, after watching the game, you are going to go to the equalizer screen. Uh, okay, what I I generally do with the with the overheads, if I have if I have like a special microphone for every piece of this of the drums, uh, for each in this case tom, we have microphone for the tom. So what I do to the overhead is just to try to catch like the high end, the cymbals, and a little bit of the attack and the position of the pieces. So I don't need low end here because the low end is in the microphone itself of the toms. So I, ju I will just cut the low end like re really close to the hi-hat, like we, we cut a lot. So we're gonna do that. Then you try to find something that you like. And that release to the microphone to just capture and to just reproduce the high end that they are the symbol sounding. So when I mostly of the time find something like that, uh, I just push, for example, the utility button. And the utility button is has different options depending on the screen that you are watching. But if I am watching the equalizer, if I push the utility button, when the button copy is pushed, I am just copying the equalizer settings. So I go to my next channel, overhead error, and I just push paste. It will ask me, are you sure? I am sure. Now you can see that in this channel, I am using the same, 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 same. Equal, uh, equalization That's the word. and I will push the low frequency cut at the same point 344 Hertz now you pan it the right to the right the left to the left and you will have an image of where are the pieces of the drums Then you put the whole mix and you push it to fill the high end. 